today guys we got you a 69 Chevelle a piece of shit Chevelle it belongs to the buddy uh, I came in for full suspension full upper and lower tubulars rear upper and lowers big brake kit I think he went with the 2010 uh, 2010 or 2015 uh, Camaro brake system let me get you a waffle around on this piece of shit. 69 Chevelle. I believe it's a base model. 307. It says on the tag, but I don't think it has the original engine no more. It needs a quarter. Stock 12 bolt. Stock suspension. Upgrade the springs, old air shocks. Check out that pinion seal. Check it out. That's a dope ass pinion seal right there. It has fucking tape. So, yeah, we're gonna disassemble it right now. On this video, it's gonna be the whole build in one video. Not full built, it's not being built, but just the full suspension and brake system in one video. It's gonna be a longer video for you guys, but it's gonna be all in one because this car is only here for a couple days. It's gonna be here for a couple of days and it has to go, so I can't be doing in fucking. I can do it in fucking sections. inside of the piece of shit clean floor floorboards they clean the truck hey you, hey, what's the AC car you can see in there oh we're gonna do some coolant stuff on it too how do you open this piece of shit over here Try to open it, fucking hole could pop. <laughs> what is it? Am I missing something? Oh, okay. I was looking for it right here and shit is all the way down there. I don't think it's the stock engine anymore. No you can see the coolant right there. It's leaking from the bottom. It's leaking from the top. You can see where it's leaking from, from this piece of shit. Uh, these uh, rubber caps. I don't know why they use rubber caps. You gotta use a fucking... Um, a fucking uh, what you call it uh those are uh, urethane ones like the fucking the one they use for the turbos but it's leaking our fans are tripping and look at all this wire mess so we're gonna clean it up we're gonna clean out the wires we're gonna clean up the that we're gonna give it a tune up what the fuck is that was well, temperature switch for the temperature switch temperature switch for the fucking fans looks like she's been touching the header fucking and then, oh and the fuel leak has a fuel leak right here you see it check it out Look. see it there it goes right there that's weird uh, the glass is not i think it's broken or some shit right here yeah, we're gonna do that. So it's all gonna be in this video. We're gonna start turning it down, and I'm gonna bring you in and out of the video. I'm not gonna show you the process of turning it down. I'm just gonna tell you what I'm doing and knock it out, and then show you again what I did. Cause remember, it's here for a couple of days. I'm not trying to keep it forever, so we're gonna send it away. So right now, I'm gonna take off the wheels. I'm gonna be taking off the wheels, rear suspension, put the suspension on the. On fucking um, jack stands, uh, 
pop the front springs uh, take the fucking uh, all the front suspension off everything is trash nothing is ke is being kept so I'll bring it in as we go today's day two yesterday um, we took it all apart it's just that the light uh, we ran out of light so it's fully disassembled front and rear right now we're gonna pressure wash it so we can uh, paint the wheel welds uh, it's gonna be a short day today because these motherfuckers want to go off-roading so I'm gonna take a trip out to Victorville okay, you can see it's all disassembled I ran out of juice right now so he's filling me up the bottle again so I can do the rest of the fucking uh, frame <clears throat> so we can clean all this mess and the radiator is fully disassembled too I just gotta pull the radiator I'll probably do it right now too yeah let me do that right now I'll bring you in once I alright she's fully power, power wash he just scuffing the the um, wheel wells they power wash like this see took all the grime and grease and shit out of it so what he's doing now is scuffing them with soapy water so it won't have a chemical reaction while we paint them I paint the and the wheel was black so the suspension and the wheels they pop out at you when you're looking at them instead of seeing some gray nasty fucking under undercoating from years and years of abuse a little bit more stuff so uh, from here on is uh way he gonna blow them dry with their compressor and then we can uh shoot some paint on it some primer and then paint you can see that engine bay It's gonna be hard to get in there with the paint, so I'm gonna do my best. He wants to do a frame off later on, but this frame is damaged. You can see the patch they did right there. Unless all Chevelle's like that. This is the first Chevelle I work on. So I don't know if this is a repair or damage. But I run into the Goose. Goose is Mr. Uh, Chevelle King. He knows all about him. So I'm gonna ask. All right, we bring it in. When we get ready to, to paint. All right, bringing it back. Everything is clean. You see the frame is painted on these sides. I didn't really like how it came out, but that's the best we can do with the motor installed. There's not enough room for me to move the can around. But here's the wheel weld. See, this one came out nicer. Here's the back one. Show you the suspension. It's running. This is gonna be the end for today. We're gonna pick it up back tomorrow. But that's just front coilovers, rear coilovers. What are they? Alden, Alden American coilovers. It looks like a single adjustables. That's the first time I use those. We're gonna see how they how they come out. 
You got your UMI rear tubulars with the rotor joints. UMI front control arms. Front and rear sway bars. And I don't know the name of that. On the Camaros, that shit's called a Wonder Bar. But I don't know the name of it for the A bodies. And uh, yeah, it's gonna have a big brake suspension and just the frame cleanup that was about it i gotta do some wiring and fix that uh overheating issue that was not in the original contract that we made so that's gonna be a little, uh that's gonna be extra it's gonna be almost at the end of the video the for the we're gonna do the suspension and the brakes and then we move on to the engine stuff but this is the main goal to get all the suspension in and all the brake stuff in and then we move on to the to the engine stuff but remember guys it's gonna be one full video we're not gonna gonna make episodes on it it's just one full video because it has to leave all right bring it in on the next one all right bring it back i don't know where i'm from where because i lost track but this side is complete not so complete you got your top body arm your spindle it's a drop spindle that's why it has the two little groups but it's a drop spindle bottom controller your coil over we're just gonna do the brakes today <coughs> we're still waiting on some stuff for the rear end <coughs> sorry about that <coughs> this damn corona is getting to me uh he's replacing the bushings he's going to go with the the rotor uh, top ones from uh, UMI, we're just waiting on them. Uh, this one, we still have to do the top control on. And uh, we're going to do all the brakes today. We're going to show you how to do the brakes. Oh, this big brake is from Scott. <clears throat> just got a, a big, it's a, the name of it is BigBrake.com. You can always tell by the SS. It's uh, from Scott. I think they are they 14 I think they 14 14 and a half fronts with the Brembo uh, four piston Merrill ones I think are the 2014s around there for the front brakes uh, calipers four pistons but I'm gonna show you how to assemble this side once uh, bad boy start carrying all the stuff that we need and bring those tools on to this side we're gonna put the control arm for you guys and the, i wanted to show everything but it's a try, you know time crunch on this car but now nah, we just waited on the rear but we're gonna do the rear brakes today we wait on the top uh bushings and the pinion because it has a fancy pinion see that fancy pinion seal all right there So we gotta remove that fancy pinion seal and do it the right way. Uh, and oh, and it has a uh, that bar already installed. I really wanted to show you that, but you know, time crunch. But I had a ratchet strap this side of the frame with that side. I had a ratchet strap the frame probably two inches. That's how far away the frame rails are apart. So now I know what's that that bar for but i had a ratchet this side to this side two inches ratchet stripe that shit and i was able to get the the bar on and uh, the customer proof of that i don't like it let's see you see right there all that it had a chemical reaction but i don't like it but that's i can get the can in there and um i'm gonna clean up all the wiring but i cannot clean the firewall because Again, there's a lot of shit in the way over the way I clean the firewall and I'm not just gonna throw paint over that shit and it's gonna look bad. So when he pops the hood, it's gonna look like like this shit right here. Like I didn't like this shit, but again, it's a time crunch. I can't take apart the whole car because that was not part of the contract, but my OCD gets the best of me. But you can, see, let me see if I can get you. You can see like the right here compared to that. I want it to be like that, not like that. So. For me to get it like that, I gotta wire wheel the whole thing, sandblast it. So for right now, 
he wants to frame off in the future but for right now this is the best we can do for the time that we have the car here i just wanted to you know contrast the black contrast the red and you know to make it look nice like he really spent all this money so we gotta make it look nice but in the future he wants to frame off it so it's gonna look nicer but for right now this is okay it's not okay for me but this is the best we can do right now for the time that we have the car here for so this is an approval he approved it i approved it and it's not show quality is we're not gonna claim it's the best but for right now it's okay later on we will do a better job oh my back's killing me now this is the front brake kit uh scott uh big break big break kit it's uh um, what is it big break upgrade.com from scott it's the 14 front with all the hardware uh these are core three hubs billet hubs this guy went so fancy let's check out this fancy billet cup straight billet cup that's just a cap right there I want to say they 14.5, but I'm not sure. I got to check out the specs on it. And this is your, uh, the 2014s, I believe, because the 2010s look weird from here. They have a different pattern. But, yeah, that's the brakes. Alright, we did one off camera to see what we're going to face. Only problem I see is that the steering holes, the part, the fucking brake holes, so short. The one he supply, and you have to grind here for the bolt and your tool to fit. That's the only thing I saw that I had to do off camera, but we're gonna do it for you guys so y'all can see. Uh. On the other side, we gotta put the steering kit on it too. It's uh, it's, it's gotta get dry because some of it was coated and some of it was not coated. So I had to paint the uncoated so it won't rust. It's rust. So we're just waiting for it to dry. I gotta put the controller on up here. But this is what I'm talking on that side. You see this 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 bulge right here have to grind it flat until the end of the letters right here it's just so you can you can put your the screw in and the uh, the tool that you're using so it can it can uh, fit through there but that's about it that's the only thing i found that is messed up on that side and um uh, bring it in and put a fresh battery on the GoPro I'm gonna show you how to put the top control arm do that because everything is already bolted on and everything so I'm gonna show you that how to uh, the uh, hub how to put the hub how to do the whole brake kit and the top control arm I wanted to show you everything but like I said it's time consuming and this car is here only for a couple days and uh the video is probably gonna be already too long because it's not gonna have episodes you know part one part two part three none of that it's just gonna be one straight shot and with a lot of editing so let me finish this control arm uh y'all get to see it it just uh let me put a fresh fucking battery on it all right top arm is installed it has a rough shims on it. It's, he's still got to get an alignment. You know, right now he's bringing me the tools so I can lock the ball joints in. I think the top one is the 18. Top. Let me get your cutting. Oh, 
This one on so you can record it? No. Yeah. It's gonna stay on for you. Oh, this one's gonna stay on? Yeah. So just hands. Uh, With the small one? Yeah. Both. Uh, you already told him you need nothing that's stick? Steering arm. This is a drop spindle, so you have two locations, but you have to put it in the bottom. If you put it on top, your steering will be way off. Hooked us up with uh with some uh, cleaning products. Go check out his Instagram. Uh, just uh, to dilute this brake fluid so it won't fuck up the powder coat. Go check out his uh, Instagram. He has uh, a bunch of products for cleaning, for uh, detailing your car, cleaning your car. Uh, Decreasing your car, whole grip of products. Go check them out. Tell them real sent you, he hooked you up. Gotta put the steering arm so I can. Uh,
see if you can get it. Don't fuck up my GoPro. So we're gonna. Hold on, let me go down this side. We're just gonna smooth this out. The little bevel, I, uh, the bulge I showed you guys. I'm just gonna smooth it out so you can be able to put your your screw in there. Just so you can get your your screw and your tool. All right, this is a uh, Scott from BigBreak.com uh, bracket kit. Bracket kit for uh, the Brembos. Be generous with the Loctite. This is your brake system. Don't skimp out on the on your Loctite, but it goes in like that. There's a bolt, washer. Uh oh, opposite side. Bolt, washer. This one. Oh. <coughs> Fucking Corona. Then I turn that off. Turn that off. That nah, this one. Are you focusing on this? Yeah. It's washer. Boat. The washer goes in between, in between this bracket, and in between the the spindle. Oh, wrong hole again. Okay, and it's a lock washer, and then your nut. <coughs> Your hands on the head, old man. Get on the car and do something with yourself. <coughs> right there. 
What is this, 19? Yeah, both sides. in case it got uh, some of that sanding dust in there, the grinding dust. There's a core three uh, billet hub. Give me that right. Give me the disc, Danny. Go get the lug nuts. There's one hole right there. This one doesn't have two holes? Yeah, it has two holes. That's perfect right there. You're blocking both, aren't you? No, yeah, there's one right here. That's perfect. Where's the... screws
that's it. Generous because this is your brakes.
Gotta do the rear. Oh. Yeah, it's gonna cut off. 